Hi guys, so on this video I am going to be doing um, a review of two different contour, contour sticks, which is the Fenty Beauty, what is this, the Match Sticks and this NYX Wonder Stick. So these two have like a big difference in price and I'm going to go ahead and put them on. I do have them on right now. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys to see... So you guys can see if there's any big difference or if one works better than the other and if it's worth $50, if there's that big of a difference that it's worth you paying $50 for this or if you can just go ahead and get this Wonder Stick by NYX that's around $10. I'll put the exact prices on the description. But yeah guys, I just wanted to do something different. I haven't done anything like this, you know, one product, like high-end product versus like um a drugstore product so I wanted to do something like this just to do something different and yeah so if you guys want to see which one wins which one is better if it's worth paying the high price or if you're good with just buying this one for ten dollars then go ahead and keep watching so I already put on this um, wet n wild cushion foundation and I actually just a side note, I actually was feeling like it was kind of dry, so I turned the sponge around, like I grabbed the sponge, and there was a lot of like, there was like a lot of um, product here, so I turned it around, and now when I'm using it, there's like, it's not dry anymore, and there's a lot of product, so just a little tip, I think I've heard it somewhere to do that, but I don't remember from who. So okay, let's go ahead and get started. So for one side, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty um, contour sticks, or I'm not sure if that's what they're called, the match sticks. And on the other side, I'm going to use this NYX contour stick, these right here, and these two. So now let's see what side works better. So I'm going to use this as obviously the concealer for this side of my eye. Stupid dog. Which I normally don't use this for concealer. I don't know. I haven't really given it a try. Like given it a chance to see if it's going to work. Because I just feel like it probably is it's not going to. It probably won't work as well as my other concealers. So let's try it now. And then this one right here. I feel like the Fenty Beauty one has like a thicker consistent, which this is not it. Where'd it go? Oh, I covered I feel like the Fenty Beauty one is thicker, the formula is thicker, and this one is not as thick. And obviously this one's a little bit darker and this one's lighter. So let's see once we blend them out. So that side's pretty blended. Well, now let's do this side. Okay, so this was definitely a little bit brighter. This one's more like it blends in more with my skin. I still kind of see my dark circles here, but I feel like they both blended out pretty good. I'm not disappointed in the way that they both blended out. Obviously, like I do like the Fenty Beauty one. <sighs> Ice cream man. So yeah, I feel like they both worked pretty good. From what I see so now I'm gonna go ahead and try um, the contour side some up here sometimes I like to put some here but not today So the Fenty Beauty one is darker. So it's the same like consistency in both of them. Like the Fenty side for the contour is also dark. Um, it's also thicker. They both feel very creamy though. Let's see how this works out.
it's pretty much both sides. And honestly, I don't see that much of a difference. Like, the only difference would be probably that one's lighter than the other one. They're both very creamy. The Fenty Beauty one is a lot thicker. Um, but yeah, I mean, hmm. Let me go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and then we'll see if there is any difference once I set it and I put um, I put some powdered contour on my cheeks and let's see if it creases honestly like for the concealer part I feel like I still have to put in put on more concealer because I don't feel like it really did a lot of coverage from my dark circles like I can still see them but um the definitely the contour the contour is pretty much like the same like I don't really see that big of a difference in the way they blend and in the way they applied so let me go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup mm. Okay guys, so I went ahead and finished my whole makeup and I honestly, I cannot see like a difference between both sides of like the cream contour. So pretty much I use this Lorac Contour Pro palette, which is this one right here. And um, they both worked very good with the... They both worked really good with the um, powder con contour. Like, I didn't see that, like, like it stuck to my, you know, to this side. Or any powder got stuck to it. I pretty much like how they both work. Um, the concealer on both, the concealer side on both, I didn't really like. I feel like it doesn't really conceal anything. I, I feel like it does a little bit, but it doesn't really conceal anything. The price um, of this, I think this was like 50 something dollars or $50. And then this, I think it's $10. I'm not sure. I'll leave the price on the description. Um, so this works great for $10. And this also works really good. I mean, they both work really good. I, I liked how they both turned out. It's just that I hadn't used this in a while. So I totally forgot about it. So I got these because I wanted to try something from Fenty View from Fen I wanted to try something for Fen from the Why can't I say Fenty Beauty? I wanted to try something from Fenty Beauty, so I got these sticks. Um because I also wanted to try their highlight, the one that's like pink and gold, but it's like so pricey. It's like $35 for that like little thing. So I was like, "Eh, I don't know." And I thought this was kind of a great deal cuz you get like a highlight, you get like a contour stick, and then you get like a concealer. Um, so yeah, that's why I got this because I wanted to try something from Fenty Beauty and it worked good. Like I liked how it worked, but like this works good too. So if you guys are looking for like a contour stick or if you guys are thinking of getting this, it's not that I don't recommend it. It works good, but if you don't want to spend $50, then go ahead and get this one because it works just as well. This NYX contour stick, what's well, called NYX wonder stick. And this works just as well. I mean, both of them, the the concealer part or the brightening part, because I guess it's supposed to be a concealer. They don't really conceal very much, but the contour sticks works good. And the highlight, I like how this works as well. The only thing is this one doesn't come with the highlight, but I mean, this is like $40 less. So at the end of everything, I basically, if I have to decide on who wins from both of these, um, that's very hard. I'm going to say that this wins just because of the price. It's $10 and it works good. It's creamy. It blends out really good. So I will say this one wins. Yeah, this one wins because of the price, but they both work really good. So that's pretty much it, guys. You'll probably see this makeup look on another video because I am going to upload a video showing how I got this eye look. Um, but you guys go can go ahead and see that on the next video. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching on this um, 
stick contour stick versus contour stick. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.